this bloke's a very, very good qualifier. He's not maybe as spectacular as Lowndes, but he's got a re very good feel for the tyre grip, a very good feel for the, the real adhesion level. And when you get to that threshold, this will be a this will be a really good lap. And he did a 23.67 in qualifying. He had some brake problems yesterday with the Ford Performance Racing Falcon. We didn't see the best of him in practice. I meant to say a good lap to watch. I didn't want to put the prediction on there at all proper. But you did say earlier that Caruso was looking good. That was about three foul between the left side of the car and that concrete block. <laughs> it's great judging, isn't it? It's fantastic. Four pole positions for Mark Winterbottom in 2008 on his way to second in the championship. And he's done the fastest split time at the first sector. The shootout didn't go the way Mark Winterbottom wanted in Adelaide when he got up on the curbing all four wheels at turn four and then the time was disallowed. He didn't use anything like that amount of curbing at turn one, which has proven to be the smart money here. Nice entry into six and rode the bumps very well. He got to the target point there at the apex. Climbs up a little bit on that apron curb. You notice he, he, he sacrifices the right hander at Big Pond to get the fast left, six and a half, to get that ready right. I know that was very close, but that is definitely the way to go. When you can use the grip at high level, this is a time that will be number one. Well, you were spot on about this one. It was clean, it was tidy, it's good, really good. Good work, Frosty, that's uh, P1 so far. Great work, mate. Phil Key there saying, uh, well done, Frosty. It was a very, very good lap. And just a little over, only a tenth of a second slower than what he achieved in qualifying. And in this case, from a standing start, that's impressive. A green tyre, definitely the way to go. So Jamie Wincup will now have to respond. This will also be a river lap. He can be very flamboyant. So Ford Performance Racing at the moment have pole position. That's where they started from with Stephen Richards in 08. Mark Winterbottom's the man at the moment. The only man who can knock him off position one is our defending series champion, Jamie Wincup. Came here last year, qualified in 11th position, but stuck it big time into the wall and did not get to the start line for any of the three races. It was the only blip on his amazing year. He's starting to pick his pace up now at six and get the thing up to normal race speed. That's a smart thing to do, for sure. Start the lap earlier, get the front tyre up. Make sure you get a good exit here. This exit is very important. Good job. Shift lights illuminating on the dashboard, triggering the gear shift point just a few revs shy of the 7,500 mark. His turn one, this has been critical for several drivers, including his teammate who got too much air down there in his own words. Again, we'll just see what the front accuracy is like. It was a bit, he couldn't get the thing downshifted properly then. He had a couple of pokes and it didn't cost any time under brakes. But it just serves to emphasise you'd be very deliberate in the cycling of the gear lever. First sector, 0 0.01. Count as nothing. What's the flow here, Matty? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good exit. Round turn five. That's the part that cost him dearly 12 months ago. On the red limiter on the run to five, five as much. Yeah. Busy part of the circuit, turn six. I don't reckon the tyres have come up well enough in the first half of the lap to Jamie's liking at the moment. This half looking better. And he approaches those two last corners absolutely totally differently to Mark Winterbottom, doesn't he? So this now will be interesting to see whether that last segment works. Here he comes up to the line. Pole position at the first event at Adelaide. Can he back it up? Not this time. Oh. And only a whisker in it. Point zero zero one. Is, is it unbelievable? Well, it's less than that. It's one ten thousand. He didn't quite get that third sector right, but uh, we've got a good car. That is unbelievable. Good comments there. I mean, it's a good car. But it's one of those ones where he'll also be saying that is so close. He'll be ruining a couple of little spots on that lap where he probably could have been fractionally better. The boy's having a laugh and a joke. There's too many decimal points for a brain like mine. My race engineer informs me it's seven one thousandths.
of a second difference. <laughs> I'll get it out. What, what is it? <laughs> 7,000. That's what he just told me. <laughs> Seven, 10,000. Oh, uh, no, here's not. the difference. 123.805 means that Mark Winterbottom gets pole. 123.806 means that Jamie Winkup doesn't get pole, but they'll start on the front row of the grid. Stephen Johnson and Michael Caruso put in great efforts in that shootout. Garth Tander and Lee Holdsworth on the next row, then Craig Lowndes and Courtney, and then the Kelly brothers, Rick and Todd, will start from 9th and 10th. Mark Winterbottom, that was a beautiful looking lap on television. Looked very well balanced your car, but tell me about the commitment required there in this circuit. Yeah, it's, um, you're hanging off everything, but you, you also got a border on the side of caution, but there's a lot of uh, lot of pride in starting on number one position. So, had a crack and hung it out, but uh, oh, it's great to get pole. It's been, it's been a while and, um, you know, it's nice to be in front of the other cars as well, because they've had quite a dominant run the first couple of rounds. So, uh, hopefully it's good for the race, but it's great to be back on the front row. Mark, the body language of the car was very, very good. So I expect for racing conditions, we expect something from it there. Yeah, it's very, uh, it's very stable, which is, um, which is nice. And you know what it's like around these places. You need confidence, and as soon as you start stepping out, you start to lift off the throttle. So uh, very stable, and, and hopefully it lasts a distance. But um, it's great to, you know, one lap is great, but let's go for the race. Good job, mate. Thanks. Cheers.